A subspace of Rn is a subset of Rn which satisfies some properties. So an obvious question regarding a subspace H would be, suppose I have some factor, is this factor in subspace or not? Well, let us try to answer this question in the case of subspaces we have encountered, the column space of A and the null space of A. Given a vector, how can we find out whether this vector is in core A or null A? Let us look into that in this video. So, we have a, we have a matrix A, a vector U and a vector V. So, we can wonder, is U in null A or is V in null A or both? And is U in core A and is V in core A or both? Let us look at the null space first. Well, in order to figure out whether the factor is in null space, we have to compute a times u. If a times u equals 0, then u is in the null space, and if a times u is not equal to 0, then u is not in the null space. So we compute a times u over here. We get minus 1 times the first column of a, plus 2 times the second column of a, minus 1 times the third column of a. And what do we find? Minus 1 plus 4 minus 3 equals 0, and minus 2 plus 6 minus 4 equals 0. So, a times u equals 0, 0, it's a 0 factor, so u is in the null space of a. What about v? Well, the null space of a is a subset of R3, because if I want to have a factor in the null space, I have to be able to compute a times u, and since the width a is 3, this factor needs to have 3 components, so null A is a subset of R3. But V is a factor in R2, so V can not be in the null space of A because it's not in R3 in the first place. So V is not in the null space of A. Let us look into the column space now. Well, the column space is a set of all linear combinations of the columns of A, so the column space is a subset of R2 because you find in making linear combinations of the columns which have only two components. So call A is a subset of R2. U, however, has three components which and is in R3. So you can never be in the column space of A because it has too many components. So U is not in the column space of A. What about V? Well, that's a bit harder. V is 2. So could be that V is in the column space of A. How are we going to find out? Well, V is in the column space of A if V is in the span of the columns of A, or three columns in this case, A1, A2 and A3. And we know V is in the span of A1, A2 and A3 if V is a linear combination of A2, A1, A2 and A3. So if you can find weights, C1, C2 and C3, such that V equals C1 times A1 plus C times, times A2 plus C3 times A3. Well, let's see. Plug in the numbers. Well, we could try uh, to uh, uh, guess the weights C1, C2 and C3, but we s know how to do this. We have a factor equation. A factor equation is equivalent to a linear system. And for a linear system, we can use an augmented matrix to find the solution. So here we form our augmented matrix, and let's do some row reduction. So subtract the first row twice from the second row. We get a 0, a minus 1, a minus 2, and a minus 4 as the second row. And the first row remains the same. And then we can add the second row tries to the first row to go to reduce echelon form. Second row stays the same, and here we get a 1, 0, minus 1, minus 3 over here. And well, let's go all the way to reduce echelon form by doing times minus 1. And there we have the reduced echelon form, and we can find the solution. We see that we have two pivots, three unknowns, so one of the variables is free, so we can take, for example, C3 to be free. Uh, and since we are looking for 
a solution of this equation, and we can choose C3, whichever we like. We can choose, for example, C3 equals 0, and then we find C1 equals minus 3 and C2 equals 4. So we can find the weights, minus 3, 4, and 0. Okay, plug them in over here, just to check, such that V is in a combination of A1, A2, and A3. That means that V is in the span of A1, A2, and A3. That means that V is in the column space of A. So this V is indeed in the column space of A. So it is some effort to check. But well, you have done some row reductions before, so you can do this. And now you know how to find out whether a factor is in the column space, and you can also figure out whether a factor is in the null space or not.